In this video, we want to see how to take a column of records and convert it into a proper data set. Now, last video, 1716, we saw how to do it with an Excel worksheet formula. In this video, we want to see how to do it with Power Query using the user interface and then a second way using M code. We'll just say that these Power Query tips are your morning cup of coffee. Now that cool intro came from our teammate, Gert. And the second Power Query M code trick that we'll learn comes from Brian XYZ and Adesojo from the comments at YouTube. It's great hanging out on our awesome online Excel team. Now when do you use Power Query rather than a formula? Well, if your data is external and you need to import it anyway, that's a great time to use Power Query. Now we have the same column of data in a text file. So we'll go up to Data, Import from Text. And this text file and the Excel file can be downloaded in the link below the video. I'm going to double click. There's a preview. We're going to click Transform Data. Now the first method will use the user interface. I'm going to come to the upper left and say Use First Row as Headers. Then we go to Add Column. We want to add an index column that starts from 0. Then based on these numbers, we want to divide by 3. So we go to Standard, Modulo. Now for a modulo, when we divide by 3, it'll give us the remainder. Click OK. The next thing we want to do is transform this. So we get 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 which marks those records as being together. So we go up to Transform, over to Number Column, Standard. And this time, we're going to use Integer, which will divide and give us the integer part. So when we transform, dividing by 3, we'll use 3 and click OK. And now we have a column that allows us to mark each record and group them together. And we have a column that will allow us to pivot. 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2 will be the new columns. So in Transform Any Column, Pivot Column. We want to pivot this column, Advanced. We do not want an aggregate calculation. We want Don't Aggregate. And that will move these, which are grouped together, to three different columns. Click OK. Right click Index, Remove. We'll rename by double clicking each one of the columns. And there we have our proper data set using only user interface. I'm going to rename this query and hit Enter, uh, Home, Close and Load, Close and Load to Table on the existing sheet. Click OK. Now we can already see a problem. These are numbers aligned to the left. That means they're text. If we try to do anything with this, like add the numbers, it will not work. Hey, guess what? Over here, here's the query. I can double click to edit. There's our list of steps. And I click the data type icon, click on date. Then I change this one to decimal. A new step is added. I click close and load because it already has a load location. And now everything's working. Now we want to try that again and look at the amazing and simple M code we can use. We import the same text file, rename the query. Then we need to promote headers, drop down in upper left, use first row as header. Now I'm going to come over to the Applied Steps, click and hit F2, because I want to rename this and remove the space. That just makes our M code cleaner. So Enter. Now we can act on that step, which represents this table. And we want to extract the column as a list. So we come up and we add a new step with the f of x. Click. It knows we want to act on the previous step. To extract that column from the table as a list, we use our field access operator, square brackets. And we put the name of the column, records in column, and Enter. And there we have a list. Now we can break apart that record and this record into individual lists. After the equal sign, I type a space list.split, open parentheses, backspace, backspace. There's the list. At the end, we put comma 3. 
close parentheses and enter. And now we have each record in a single cell as a list. If you click off to the side, not on the green list, you can see there's the record. Now we use yet another amazing function. And boy, did they name this one smartly. Table dot from rows. Now, when I open parentheses, notice what the argument requires. Rows as list. That's exactly what we have. Backspace, backspace. Now we come to the end in comma. And the second argument is where we can put our field names. We use list syntax, open curly bracket, in double quotes, date, end double quote, comma. The second field name will be sales. And the third will be product. Now we close double quote, close curly bracket, and now we close off table dot from rows. And when I hit Enter, you've got to be kidding. That is amazing. Let's rename this step, something like column records to table. We need to add a data type to each field. So I click the data type icon and select date, decimal, text. Now we can close and load, close and load too. We'll load it as a table on the existing sheet, G20, click OK. And there we have it, one, two different ways we took a column of text data and converted it to a proper data set. We did it using the user interface. We also did it using some user interface, but M code, list.split, and table from rows. All right, it's awesome hanging out on our online Excel team. We'll see you next video.